What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrain One, your host here, and I have got a new video for you today. So, we haven't played this game in such a long time. It's been months since I've uh, opened up Star Citizen. For those of you that do not know what Star Citizen is, is pretty much a space MMORPG, all right? It's traveling, you know, uh, it's its own made-up type of universe, but it's full-on RPG, you know, first-person, third-person, um, combat, uh, ship fighting, uh, dog fighting, um, you know, a, a bounty hunter. You can, you know, do cargo runs, missions, things like that. I mean, it's it's just, if you haven't looked into it, Star Citizen, look it up, Robert's, robertsspaceindustries.com. They're having a free fly event right now, which every single day they're going to be showcasing different ships for you to be able to take a look at uh, and fly for free. Uh, the new one that has just come out is uh, this one right here. I believe it's called the Nomad. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, this is the, the brand new ship that is coming out. It is a what they call a premium starter ship. So you know how like uh, you've got starter ships. These are your regular types of starter ships right here. Whereas once you buy a package, the lowest you can buy, you get into the game with this type of ship right here. Um, and I'll show you a uh, little bit of the details, let's say, on this one which is the, uh, the Mustang Gamma. This is a little bit more of expensive of a, of a, of a starter ship, but you get the idea um, of the ships that let you kind of get a taste and feel for what Star Citizen has to offer. But this is a new ship that's just coming out now, and I gotta say, I'm enjoying the aesthetic and look of it, and as you can see, it's not touching the ground at all. Right now, you might see that a little bit low because the cargo bay is opened. So if we were to close the cargo bay, you'll see that it does not, it hovers. It's got this like grav lift technology that allows it to hover and never actually touch the ground. So I wanted to show it off uh, since it is a brand new ship. Um, we'll get a chance to fly it here at some point soon and then I'll show that off as well. This is just gonna be kind of a walkthrough of the ship uh, to let you take a look at it and, uh, and all that jazz. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look inside. And you get in via this little area right here. So first of all, we'll open the ladder. You can kind of see the effects that happen here. It's pretty cool. And then you hit enter. I'm going to wait for him to come out. Come on, buddy. All right, so I'm going to hit enter ship now, and it's going to open up the hatch. And then it's going to automatically allow us to go in. I'll go in third person so you can kind of see the uh, the effects here. And you can kind of just take a look at us and, and see the size of us as a character as well as, you know, the ship itself. This is, again, a starter ship. So the ship is not necessarily huge like some of the other massive ships that you can get into. But I'll uh, move around here and kind of let you take a look at everything that has to offer. So, you've, again, you've got the cargo bay in the back, which I believe is like 22 to 24... Um, uh, cargo space or whatever they call it um, which is pretty good for a starter ship no other starter ship has that much uh, cargo but the the cargo is outside so it's in the elements but that shouldn't be a problem either because it's got magnetic seals so it's not like your your cargo is going to uh, you know fly out of your ship um, all right so here we have a looks like a kind of a storage area where you can put clothes maybe other items and stuff like that uh, here, I think we have the bathroom. Yep. Uh, this is where you can uh, uh, ask who number two works for, uh, if that's your business. I do not believe it has a shower, though. I might be wrong. I'm not 100% sure. But that's where you do your business. And then, of course, we walk in here to the habitation area. So this is where you will sleep. And to sleep, you just pretty much um, lie down. And this is how you save the game in Star Citizen, so if you're out and about, you know, in the universe and you're in space and you want to quit the game because you've got something else going on in life and you just can't continue, well, if you're in a ship that has a bed, it has to have a bed. Some ships do not have bed, like dogfighters don't have beds. And as of right now, the only way to save your game is through a... Um, and uh, it's not the only way to save the game. Obviously, if you quit the game, you're going to save, but you're going to go to the last spaceport or last planet location that you were t 
touched down on. Uh, so you won't start exactly where you left off. However, if you're in a ship that has a bed, and then you do this, it's not going to show it right now, obviously, because this bed is not, it's not, everything's not fully functioning in the ship yet. Um, there'll be another option that'll say log out. So it's pretty much as simple as that. So there's going to be a whole mechanic with, you know, you needing to eat, uh, create your own food. You want to make sure that you, you keep your stamina up. You don't starve yourself. So you're going to have to make your own food. Um, and that's going to go along with all of the, you know, tiny micro RPG elements that you're going to be doing in Star Citizen. And here is your actual seat. So you enter the pilot seat. Now, none of the things will turn on right now because this is this ship is just showing... It's, it's not... This current ship right here is not fully functional. Uh, I think it's already functional. I think you can already purchase it and fly it in the game, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, we've seen it in action in videos and whatnot, and it looks really, really cool. So here's your power on. No ship looks like this as far as their um, the HUD elements. So obviously the more ships that come out, the better they're going to look and uh, the newer updates and stuff will be applied. So every button will be... Actually, there's no button on this ship whatsoever. It's all touch sensitive, which is going to be, you know, pretty cool. But you see this little thing that pops up here. There's going to be all of your information when you're out flying about. And then every single button you will be able to use. Um, obviously not right now, but eventually uh, you're going to be able to use all of those buttons, which is going to be pretty cool. And then all of your displays will be displayed across this little screen right here. So if we hit F4, we can go into uh, looky mode, and then we're going to hit Z, and then allows us to kind of move around. This is a third-person view that you can do in ships when you're flying about. Uh, you can change the camera to give yourself, you know, just the, the, the awesome angle that you want. I like the aesthetic of the ship. Um, I really do. And as you can see, we have uh, a turret on the top, which is obviously man-controlled. And we have uh, one on the bottom, which is man-controlled as well. So that tells you that there are three... I think it's size threes. But if you have gimbal, it's size two. But now that they've fixed, uh, fixed weapons, uh, the weapons are a lot better to aim in now in, in their new implementation of aiming and stuff in Star Citizen, that it's actually more plausible to have uh, three size three fixed weapons, which is pretty good, which is not too bad for a starter ship. I just like the look of it. It has like that kind of emblem almost for Assassin's Creed. I feel like if I was a big fan, it's like... The, the creators of this ship were a fan of Assassin's Creed, or should I say the creators of Consolidated Outlands were uh, <laughs> fans of Assassin's Creed. There are different skins that you can get as well. And I'll show that at the end of this video. We'll go to the actual online site, and you can take a look at what the pricing is for the ship. Now, one thing I want to make a mental note to all of you out there that, that are worried that you have to pay real money to get this ship is this ship will be available for purchase in-game. So in order to get this ship in-game, it's very simple. You do missions, you, you get money, and then you pay whatever the amount of you know the ship costs in order to buy the ship, and then it is your ship. So I just wanted to make a mental note of that as a lot of people... Um, you know, are very well turned off by microtransactions and the fact that you have to pay for this. But you don't. You can just wait for it to be available for you to purchase in-game. Now, if you hit F1, it shows up your Moby Glass and you can see how much money. Currently, I have 326,756 um, Alpha UEC. So, I'm not sure how much this ship is going to cost, but let's say, for instance, it cost maybe $2 million, right? So, I've already, you know, got a little bit of money. And then you go into your contracts manager, and then these are all the missions that you can do, and you can see what you can, you know, this mission earns you 8,000, mercenary, this earns you 10,000, this earns you 4,500, 2,000, 4,000. You get the idea, and then you keep doing missions, you build up money, um, and then you, you know, you make your name for yourself in the galaxy. So I'll show you what it's like getting out of the ship in first person. Very, I mean, it, the game is beautiful, and it's looking better and better every single day. So, very happy. I, I really actually like this ship. I know I've heard some people say that they don't like the aesthetic of it, that it looks a little bit like Elite Dangerous, but I'm not opposed to that, as I'm a huge fan of Elite Dangerous, and I, I like the look of it. I mean, why not take uh, a little bit of... Not obviously steal from Elite Dangerous, but why not take some advice from Elite Dangerous and have some, some ships that kind of look like their ships? And a lot of their ships, like the Type 
7 and Type 9 and whatnot um, do look like this type of cockpit and, and almost this type of ship. Uh, but I think it looks really cool. And again, this is called the Nomad. So, um, And I'm going to give you just a, a size comparison. Again, these are all starter ships. This is your regular starter ship. This is your premium starter ship. So if we were to come over here, let's look. Which one is the beta? Because that's the one that I want to show you guys. Um, that is the gamma. That is the beta. Okay, so this is... This is the beta. This is another starter ship, but this is a starter ship that actually has a, uh, a living area inside, whereas you see that one had a living area inside. These ships do not. These are all just, you sit right here. You can't go into the back of the ship, um, but the beta is the one that you can actually do that. So let's say we, uh, we went inside here. I think we're going to go on the other side. Enter pilot seat. You can kind of see how it works a little bit. And I'm just giving you this as a size comparison and whatnot. And this is, you know, the cockpit of the little brother to the Nomad. You can kind of see how that works. And then exit to rear allows you to go back. And then you walk in. And then you can see you have, like, a little area to sleep in. The same type of deal. You've got your little bathroom, but this one does have a shower. Uh, and you've got your little bed. Obviously, it's not as good as the Nomad, but that's because that's a premium ship. So I'm giving you a kind of an estimate just so you can see um, what these differences on these things are. But, yeah. So, again, what's going on right now is, is an expo. This expo allows you to fly all the ships that are currently flyable in the game. This is a big deal. It also means that anyone right now can play Star Citizen for free. All you have to do is pay for an or you don't sorry you don't pay. All you have to do is sign up for an account, and then you'll be able to come right in, and they will give you a ship for free for like the next two weeks. So if there is a time for you to come and play Star Citizen, that time is right now. Especially during the next two weeks, there's going to be different ships. Uh, that you can take a look at. The one that we're looking at right now, again, is called the uh, Consolidated Outland Nomad. Its focus is a light freighter. With the versatility of a medium-sized multi-purpose freighter packed into a stylish compact frame, the Consolidated Outland uh, Nomad is the model of self-sufficiency, the spirit of the open sky, and the perfect solution for anyone yearning to start a brand new adventure. So, and I'm just going to give you a gist of uh, kind of the, the expo outlaw, or the expo here. 2950 is the year currently in the universe. It's actually 2020, so every single year, like last year's expo was 2949. There's uh, these little map areas that kind of uh, allow you to go around and take a look. Argo Mole, uh, the different areas that are here, and the different halls. Uh, so definitely, I mean, uh, just come and take a look at the beautiful architecture, what they've built here. Uh, again, there's going to be different ships. Uh, on display that you will be able to rent. You just literally go up to them and you click rent. It's pretty much that simple. For instance, this is the Argo Mole, which is a um, mining ship. Uh, this is a multi-person uh, ship, so you're going to want to... This is really not meant for a single person. Um, this is if you want to be a miner, uh, mining asteroids or mining rocks on planets and things like that. But as you can see, this is uh, a huge ship. And, you know, you walk inside, you're going to notice that this is a, a massive, massive ship. But it's just to give you an, uh, a kind of perspective on the, the Nomad there, as you can see. Every ship is a little bit different. They have uh, um, different things to do. Like this ship specifically has these. Uh, once you get in these seats, these allow you to mine and uh, rocks and ore and things like that. So just wanted to give you a, an instance or... Um, of what they are it's pretty freaking cool that's like a little uh what is it shower or something or a place to put your whatever i'm not sure but we haven't even went up i mean there's there's a uh ele or see, not elevator but there's a, a ladder here that allows you to go up and again i'm just showing you this right now just for perspective as you can see there are different size ships which have different things this is where everybody sleeps the shower and whatnot walk in here there's another one of those things that you can control down and then here is the actual cockpit and it's a two-person cockpit here 
but yeah, so just to give you an instance of that. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take you outside of the game. We're going to go into the actual website and show you how you can actually, uh, for instance, log on, um, take a look at these ships that you're seeing, and purchase them if you would rather spend real money. If not, then you can always just have them um, purchase them in-game once you build up enough money for whatever. So let's hop online right now and take a look at it. So if it's your first time actually taking a look at Star Citizen or going to the webpage, robertsspaceindustries.com, this is what you're going to see. You're going to be able to go to the different aspects of, uh, of this. So what you're going to want to do is obviously click Join the Universe. And you're going to click Play Now. And it'll kind of get you into the game. It's a free fly event. So right there, you just click download the game and then you follow the instructions that it does. And then boom, you're in the game. You don't have to select uh, a certain pack or whatever. But here is the Nomad. As you can see, this is a limit time offer. So this ship will go for $80. So this starter package gives you a few different things. You actually get the Nomad. You get lifetime insurance. Now, what this means is if you die or your ship gets exploded, you're in a, you know, a dogfight and you lose the dogfight, your ship blows up, you die, you need insurance to claim the ship back. Uh, it's similar to what it is in Elite Dangerous where it costs a certain amount of money every single time to get uh, your ship back. However, if you have insurance, it doesn't cost you anything. So having lifetime insurance means that once you get this ship, it will never cost you a single penny to have the ship come back, to respawn, should I say. Now, you do have to remember that once you die or your ship explodes or someone steals your ship, you don't have it anymore, then you need to wait a certain amount of time. It's not a long period of time, especially for starter ships. It might be five minutes. It, it's probably less. Or you could even pay a little bit of money to have it come to you even faster. Um, but that's how it works. It, it's kind of has a small cooldown period, just like in any first person shooter when you respawn. However, it's not that bad, you know, at all. Uh, you also get, uh, the, the game star citizen digital download. Uh, you get some money to start off with and you get the jackal paint, which you can see this paint is a little bit different than the paint that we just saw on the ship. So, and again, you get the free bonus of paint and lifetime insurance. So we're actually going to go, um, to the main area here, and this is the IAE-2950, and this is where you can actually look to see what ships are on sale uh, and what you can do. So again, if you were to go down to, um, go over to November 20th, I know it's the 21st, but this is when consolidated, they haven't updated the game yet, so therefore the new day hasn't uh, applied yet. Go down to Consolidated Outland, and then this is what you can see what is flyable now. It's actually $70 a standalone ship. So if you already have an account, then uh, it's $70 in order to get this ship. It's $80 if you get it with trade-in credit, meaning that let's say you purchased another ship, but you want to trade in that ship and get a different ship, then you can do so. But it will cost you 10 extra. So let's say I had a ship that was $100, um, and I wanted to use that credit to get this ship. Well, it's going to cost 80 so then I'll still have 20 left over, if that makes sense. So you can see all the different ones that they have. This is just Consolidated Outland, and as you can see, it goes from November 20th to December 2nd. So there's tons and tons of ships that you're going to be able to look at and uh, take a look at. And you can see just the prices of... And these are future flyable right now. There's no other ships from this manufacturer that's future flyable. All of them are out. Then you also have Argo, which is that mole that you just saw. And you can see that that costs $315. It is a massive ship. However, you will be able to buy this ship in-game using in-game credits. It's just going to take you a lot of grinding, but that's how MMORPGs are to get enough money to get the ship. Okay, this is All this money goes directly into helping the uh, uh, funding of the game itself. Uh, this game has been ongoing for quite some time. So, I mean, if you know anything about Star Citizen, you know all about that. But those are the different ships from this specific. The SRV is not yet out yet, so therefore that's why you didn't see it. Uh, but that's a future flyable one. And again, now it's the 21st, so you'll see that right now Aegis is going on. And Aegis has some massive ships. As you can see, all of these different flyable ships, the prices that they are. But anyways, I'm getting off a topic here. The topic was to show you like kind of a review of uh, what's going on with uh, the show floor as well as... 
the brand new Nomad and the uh, Intergalactic Aerospace Expo that is going on currently. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on Star Citizen, you can always follow our Discord, which is uh, linked in the description below. Uh, you can do that on the phone, your tablet, on your computer. It's discord.gg slash centerstream01. Join us. We've got a place in there for Star Citizen that you can uh, talk to about um, anything Star Citizen or anything, any game that you want to talk about or just have a place where you feel like you're part of a community. We'd love to have you. So thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and let me know, have you already visited the, uh, the expo? Uh, are you a fan of Star Citizen? Have you never seen it before? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Love you all. Take care of yourselves and I will see you on the next video. Peace out.